Yo, 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 it's your boy, Big Mike Raider. And we're here at day 14 of the 30 days, 30 prospects. Where today we're covering the University of Texas running back, Jonathan Brooks. Guys, let's jump into it. But have they ever seen another like me living giant type step in your house above my head on your silly climb doubt of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine dive off my lips no longer hold no I'm tired of applying the grip forget the fancy shiny rappers I'm supplying the gifts I feel it's only right to tell you that I'm going in hey what's going on it's your boy big Mike Raider writer and contributor for Planet Raiders and I got another special one for you today we are covering Jonathan Brooks at a University of Texas running back. Guys, when he was on the field, the one season he did start, he made the most of it. He rushed for over 1,100 yards and had almost 300 yards receiving, 6.1 yards per carry. This guy was a special running back with the University of Texas this year. He did prematurely get his season ended with an ACL injury. Uh, things didn't really look so great for him after that. Stock uh, kind of dropped a little bit, but this is a guy who is a very special uh, type of player who can, you know, really break a game if you let him. Um, if he comes back 100% after that um, ACL injury, this guy can be back in business. Now, what does that mean for the Raiders, guys? That means um, a possible look at him in the second round and not necessarily the 44th overall. Um, that would be a major reach, and, of course, we wouldn't want that uh, for the Raiders' uh, draft malpractice. We've done that over the years, right? But you really got to consider Jonathan Brooks if you're really looking for best player available at a certain time, right? Um, and if it's in the Raiders' interest to kind of move back into the draft, that might be the move for him. Um, and when I say move back in the, in the draft, move back in the second round to gain some capital, and then they pick in the later second round. Now, if they do that, um, Jonathan Brooks is in that perfect sweet spot to get picked up in that later second round, depending on where you're uh, where you're picking. Somewhat in the 50 to 60 range, if they move back just that far back, um, gain some draft capital in the process, uh, they'll be able to uh, snatch up possibly the best running back coming out of this draft class. Um, he's a guy that kind of reminds me of what he brings to the table, just as far as what he brings to the table, is a Josh Jacobs. Good out of the backfield, um, uh, between the tackles, very powerful. Uh, he's a little bit quicker, a little bit bigger than, than than Josh Jacobs, but this guy can get the job done. And if you're 100% not sold on uh, Zamir White being your workhorse back, um, this is a possibility. Now, I know in later rounds, there are guys, and you'll, you'll hear about them in a, uh, later on in the series, um, but if you want a guy who is possibly the best running back in this class, he's amongst the top guys on, that, on the list of backs. Uh, if you want that top guy, uh, Jonathan Brooks is your guy. Um, let's get into some of his uh, draft stock, guys. Uh, my apologies for uh, about a couple of seconds ago. Some of the power went off. So, you know, I kept going as we spoke and I didn't want to start the video all over. So, um, but anyway, we got Jonathan Brooks, right? Uh, NFL.com has him at number 32, uh, which is pretty high. They, 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 they really like his upside. Um, ESPN has him at around 41. So that's around the sweet spot where we're going to be picking at 44. But most of the guys... Um, NFL draft buzz 47, uh, athletic 51, uh, PFF at 56, and MDDB at 65. So, uh, that's right outside the second round with MDDB. Um, I like what the NFL draft buzz, athletic, and PFF have them at in between that 47 to 56. Um, if you do move back to around that early 50s to mid 50 range, you'll be able to pick up a Jonathan Brooks and get, um, get draft capital in the process now if you do so you can be able to pick up that second round you know pick up this uh jonathan brooks and still be able to look at maybe a, a guard down the line possibly a cooper bb um who i did say earlier yeah at 44 would be a nice pickup but he could still be available in the later second rounds maybe even going into the third depending on what's going on 
uh, with, with the draft stock and, you know, where people have him on the list. If not, you can also pick up a, uh, a Christian Haynes, a guy that I mentioned on uh, previous episodes. So um, depends on the strategy. What are you looking at? You should, you could be able to trade back and get a two for one type of deal, get a Jonathan Brooks, one of the best running backs in this class and get uh, the guard uh, of the future, particularly a Christian Haynes or a Cooper BB combine those two. And then now you got to make over for that offense with young players and young pieces alongside with a, um, a Zamir White, uh, Madison, and then the, the grizzle vet, um, um, uh, Mir Abdullah. So, guys, what do you guys think about that pickup, Jonathan Brooks, in a trade back in the second round? Let me know what you think. I want to hear about it. But guys, we're gonna jump into the to the to the highlight film, and hey, get ready for it. Buckle up. If you're looking for speed, power, and game breaking ability at the running back position, look no further than Texas's own Jonathan Brooks. Known for his electrifying style and dynamic playing abilities, Brooks has captured the attention of scouts and fans alike. Brooks, a former four-star multiple short, uh, sport from Hallettsville, Texas, uh, committed to the University of Texas, eager to make his mark in the world of college football, but saw limited action in 2021 and 2022. After the departure of eventual NFL backs Bijan Robinson and Rashawn Johnson, Brooks finally got the starting nod at the position where he did not disappoint. In his only season as a starter, Brooks rushed for 1,135 yards on 187 attempts, 6.1 yards per carry, with eight, uh, 286 receiving yards on 25 snags and 11 total touchdowns. His 2023 campaign, along with elite-level athleticism and measurables, has made him arguably the top running back prospect in the 2024 class. One of Brooks' notable strengths is explosive speed. Brooks ex uh, possesses exceptional speed and acceleration, allowing him to burst through holes in the defense and break away for big gains. His quickness makes him a threat to score on any given play. While Brooks excels as a runner and a receiver, his skills in pass protection could use refinement at the next level. Improving his ability to pick up blitzes and protect the quarterback will be crucial for his success in the NFL. Ball security also poses a concern at the next level. Despite these areas for improvement and injury concerns, Brooks possesses the raw talent and potential to thrive at the next level. Given the right coaching and development, if given the right coaching and development, if the Raiders feel like they need to address the position early, they may be compelled to shop their 44 overall pick to move back, gaining additional draft capital. If the Raiders find themselves in the late second round by means of the aforementioned position or by trading back into the second round, adding Jonathan Brooks is an intriguing option to replace the loss of Josh Jacobs. Moreover, a young duo of Zamir White, Madison Brooks has a potential of being the one one of the most potential backfields in the league in 2024 and in many years to come. So guys, that is Jonathan Brooks in a nutshell. What do you guys think about Jonathan Brooks being added to this backfield with the Raiders uh, moving back from that number 44 overall pick to pick him up uh, maybe in the 50 to 55 range um, to trade back and get him and kind of get a two for one deal, maybe get some additional draft capital and pick up the guards you need later on in the second or maybe in the third round. But guys, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think about it. I'm your boy, Big Mike Raider. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. If they ever seen another like me living giant type Step in your house and bump my head on your ceiling Climbed out of the bottomless pit To let the truth slip and slide off my tongue And swine dive off my lips No longer hold on, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers, I'm supplying the gifts